Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. And today we went blonde, but we kept it original to the true Ashley Budek way. I gave you guys a vibe by Diva in up the blonde highlight. Is Diva up a word? I gave the blonde install a nice black girl friendly <laughs> style and I love this for me now this one is going to look good as a bust down center part with some beautiful curls you can even do it bone straight um but I personally just wanted to give it a vibe that just looked good made me feel comfortable in this color going out and I think I executed it to the T bust down center part but we did add the braids I think I would also um once I get tired of these braids, add like a couple braids, like big braids going down to the hair all the way around and wear it like the box braid style. But since it's not a full lace wig, like don't go all the way to the scalp. And then I will let it go after a few days and do the crimped. I think that would look so good with this hair. A lot of the times um, blonde is not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's a great switch up look, especially again, if you want to switch up your look and do something fun and different. I don't want to do it the traditional way. I want to do it my way. So I love the look I came up with. This one came courtesy of Wiggins Hair, so make sure you check them out. I do have a direct link to this wig in the description box. If you are not into this, I do have other tutorials with Wiggins Hair, so you can check out those options as well. Maybe I can even add a few options of like natural color, natural brown colors that I can recommend from their website. Down in the description box, I'm long-winded, so excited. I'm also filming vlogmas for you guys currently. So if you're interested in this look, keep on watching. Jumping right into it, but before we start, I wanted to show you guys the inside construction of the cap. This is a 200% density P413 24 inch lace wig. Her dimensions are 13 by 4 and she is a free part, which means although it came as a center part, you can definitely set it as a side part. If I did not mention, she is 24 inches in length and she is super full. We're going to get right into the installation process. This is going to be a glueless install per usual. Now with this one, as I mentioned, it is P4613. P4 is the color of the brown, beautiful color. And then the 613 is that beautiful blonde highlights that are all throughout I opted not to customize this wig just because I felt like there wasn't much that could be done or needed to be done. It is set as a center part, so we're going to rock with that center part. And we're just going to cut off all of the excess lace. Now, because this one is super simple and to the point for installation, I did opt to cut off the sideburns and we also did opt for no baby hair. I just felt like it would be a cleaner, classier look, but you guys already know I would also rock this one well with a beautiful baby hair situation. For the install process, we rocked with Eben. I'll have it linked in the description box. Also, this blow dryer is from BeDagBeauty.com and it will be coming back to the site soon. You guys sold it out and I don't know, I never restocked it, but let me know if you guys would like to see this back on the site. Now, when it comes to insulation, I do like to work in sections. Center is always first and then I'll finish off one side and then the other. We are going for simple side burns today, so you'll see how I do that in just a moment. Right now we're doing the dynamic duo and this is our wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and we're just going to go ahead and baby this area and get it as flat and straight as possible. Now I love this beautiful brown color. It's nice, rich and chocolatey and it definitely complements my complexion. Now for me, I did opt for cute little braids on the side. I honestly just wanted to make it look like something that was realistic and natural for me. I know not everyone loves blonde. Not everyone loves light brown. I absolutely love this combo on me as a good switch up. And I just wanted to show you different ways that you can wear it. You, can, you guys clearly see that the lace lays super flat. So that made this process super simple and easy. And I'm just going to do two cornrows going straight back. If you, if you choose to do this option or this style, you can definitely stop the braid at the end of like where the lace is. I opted to take it all the way down for a more like beachy vibe. I love, love, love what braids look like with blonde hair. And I definitely think this one was super easy to do. Uh, you can definitely slow the video down if you need a little bit of pointers, but definitely try to separate the hair and separate any hair so that it doesn't like get tangled in while you're braiding. And I did secure each braid with the little rubber bands. 
Now I'm going to pull the braids back and focus on silk pressing the rest of the hair. I did go in with the hot comb to just make sure that everything on the sides laid super flat and there was no bulk or imperfection. The hairline on this one looks super amazing and I'm absolutely impressed. If you are wanting something a little bit more simple as far as install, I did head over to their website and notice that this one does come in a 5x5 five five closure wig as well as the 13x4 lace wig that we are rocking today. I believe it goes up to 30 inches in length so you definitely have some options as far as how you want to install do you want to do a closure install or a frontal install and also what length you'd like between the lengths of 16 and 30 inches now as I babble along I did go ahead and do those baby hair I just went ahead and cut them pretty short and then I used the wax stick or no the edge control from beautyacbeauty.com and the edge brush as well and just made them to my liking super simple and short so they're not too gaudy but just something to add so that my natural uh, dark brown sideburns don't show through here we're going to go ahead and tint the lace you guys see there was a little bit of a shadow or like a white cast along the hairline so we're just perfecting that and making sure everything blends with my complexion hopefully it blends with yours and if not you just add a little bit of powder like so I'm sure you already have a foundation powder or a lace tint that you can use at home and then I'm just going to go in with concealer to make the parting look amazing this is what it looks like as the finished results and I hope you guys enjoyed it Okay, love bucks. so we are done with the look, and this is the style we came up with. A lot of the times, you guys know I love a good bust down center part that's in the safe zone. That's what looks good on me. But today, since we did the highlights and we had some fun with it, I really wanted to dress it up. Bone always goes off when you start filming, right? I really wanted to dress it up and have some fun, so I did go for the little cornrows. I feel like having it pulled out of my face would accentuate the accentuate or accentuate accentuate the dark uh root and kind of like just make it look a little bit more like natural or realistic i'm also going to be wearing it as like a buzz down center part with some really good curls but again i just felt like i didn't want to give barbie vibes per se i wanted to give a vibe that really fit my personality and i think i did amazing i even added a little bit of sideburn action although we did no baby hair in the front this one did come from wiggins hair and this is the dust bag that it was in um i don't think it came with the box but you guys already know i dispose my boxes typically because i do have such a large collection of wigs it just uh there is no if I could keep the boxes I would but because I have a lot of wigs I don't so I'm happy that most companies give a dust bag because this is more important to me as far as like the longevity of saving my wig and it does have all of their YouTube uh, handles website phone number on the back which is helpful and then of course the logo on the front I like this red with the silver that's really cute now inside of the packaging we did get it feels like wig caps the usual suspect uh, mink lashes and then we did get a wig band that will um, say Wiggins on it. I think it says Wiggins hair. Oh and we also got a baby hair brush so nice. As far as the dimensions on this one, this one is 13 by 4, uh, 24 inches in length and then of course it's a highlight uh, lace wig. It has the blonde color in there. It has beautiful brown in here. It's a nice mix. Now obviously this isn't everybody's favorite or this isn't everybody's cup of tea if this is not yours you can definitely check the description box and i'll have some options there of something that's a little bit more like neutral like natural brown colors 24 inches in length excuse the ball tea i am currently waist training so you know i'm like a little can of pillsbury <laughs> dough biscuits right now you guys already know if you know you know so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check out wiggins hair this one came out absolutely beautiful i love the texture i love the vibe the color i love as well for a good switch up thank you guys so much for watching please check the description box for list and links of everything um, that we use i'm also filming day one of vlogmas as we speak so you may see vlogmas day one before you see this video but we are in vlogmas so i'm super excited about that thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches